Remember that guy who gave ChatGPT $100 to start a business? It failed miserably. A crypto enthusiast named Jackson Greathouse Fall went viral for partnering with OpenEyes ChatGPT to start a business with only $100. Despite initial hype and excitement, the venture, named Green Gadget Guru, failed leaving behind a defunct website and unanswered questions. Here's the source, which I summarized into a few key points. The rise and fall of the $100 business experiment. Fall's tweet about giving ChatGPT $100 to make smart investments became an internet sensation. A business was planned called Green Gadget Guru, aimed at sustainable living through affiliate links and ad revenue. Despite initial momentum and $7,700 in donations, the project fell apart, with the website eventually becoming defunct. Lessons learned from the failed venture. The Green Gadget Guru website was plagued with issues such as identical product categories and only placeholder text in blogs. Fall's revenue claims were questionable, and he ceased updates on the project, leading to speculation and disappointment. This case serves as a cautionary tale about the gold rush mentality in technology and the risks of hastily investing in viral ideas. PSI run one of the fastest growing tech AI newsletter, which recaps every day from 50 Media The Verge. Tech Crunch. What you really don't want to miss in less than a few minutes. Feel free to join a community of professionals from Google, Microsoft, JP Morgan and more. Honestly it sounds like the guy just pocketed the $7,000. I think it says more about humans. Time for someone to try with $200. Some asshole just took everyone's money and the title makes it seem like GPT ruined a business. Fuck off. But did he really fail? He made off with $7,000 while using GPT. The fascinating part of this is it went viral on social media hence we are talking about it here. And most people have heard of it. That type of exposure and awareness is worth way more than $100. It's like getting 25 k in advertising for free. Most B2C startups would kill for that kind of exposure. Yet it still failed despite that huge artificial boost. Which makes it truly an epic fail. Sounds like a worthy experiment to me. Space companies keep blowing up ships with some regularity. But every explosion is data. Sucks to be the guy who lost not only his $100. But he apparently failed to exploit the entirely misplaced buzz about it. Sometimes that's the real opportunity. You can't fail miserably with $100. It's an experiment that just didn't work out. But Imo he made money. So it technically isn't a failure. Is it? This case is a cautionary tale about the gold rush mentality in technology. By the way check out the fastest growing newsletter in tech and I. A crypto enthusiast failed. You say. Is this at all surprising? Those expime nets were a total grift. Sounds like the business was a success. He turned $100 to $7,000. Crypto enthusiast collects donations and they magically disappear is just another way of saying. Scam guy scammed some more. Technically, 7,700 Roy. So it didn't fail. Chat GPT can definitely do most of the content writing for an e-commerce site I've run several but. It needs a guiding hand to play editor. 
It's not at a point where you can be all hands off. But I honestly could let go of a few staff if I had one good staffer capable of guiding the AI through the work. Wouldn't save any money though cause to get someone good like that I'd have to pay them the rate of the three people I was letting go combined. He turned $100 into 7.7k. How is that failing miserably? This is an ad. Still better than that submarine dude man shrugging light skin tone. Imagine quantum foam as just higher dimensional vertices phasing through each other to make our reality. The guy took the money and left. If the project was based on chat GPT and $100. Why take donations? Because he wanted the money yen note tears of joy. I remember seeing that website. It was just the initial framework of an affiliate website. To make it work, a lot more articles were needed to be written which requires substantial work. I liked the idea. But like any business effort is required before money can be made. Dude turned $100 into $7,700. How is that considered unsuccessful? Getting dumb people to give you $7,000 does not sound like a failure at all. Tears of joy. Not sure if you noticed he got the social capital as well. He's probably doing okay overall. I asked chat GPT to do my homework but I didn't turn it in. I still failed miserably. This case serves as a cautionary tale about the gold rush mentality in technology and the risks of hastily investing in viral ideas. WDYM. The dude only lost $100. Credit to him for trying something cool. It used to be that if you gave chat GPT 100 bucks, it would be able to build a profitable business with no problems. This is proof that they've been making it dumber. Nice. I was jealous lol. Bro probably made more from the spotlight on him lol. Sounds not unlike most Silicon Valley startups. $100 paid and 10 seconds made to prove to the world your stage 4 cancer. Should have been more lean and reduced the budget to $50 s. Well played the $7,000 with minimum effort tears of joy. Bravo to him. This surprised anyone. Yeah I gave it a brief spin and it became clear to me quite early it was a dead end. Glad I didn't waste more time. Just shows that execution trumps strategy. I feel like you could crunch some numbers on this regardless of chat GPT and find most businesses. That start with $100 fail. You'd have to run this 10-20 times for this result to ally mean much. What if GPT told him to do this scam? I found it hilarious that this was being hyped up so much when it was. The business was nothing more than another one of the thousands upon thousands of shitty Amazon product review sites that have been plaguing the internet for years now thanks to affiliate marketing gurus. Can't believe a crypto enthusiast took people's money and ran. Double it and give it to the next chatbot. It's probably because it was trained on 2021 prices. Remember that I stock market predictor. It's called the GPT portfolio. It's only up 8. The SP500 is up 10 since it started. He claimed he would post profits every day for a month. Stopped after a week and leveraged his CNN interview into a Discord Patreon grift. Michael Reeves' fish stock market thing did better. He really made me feel stupid for not being able to use chat GPT that time. Earning $7,200 off of $100 isn't too bad.